Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you a professional line of photo albums and photo products by Nphoto exclusively for professional photographers. I've been getting more and more emails and comments from you guys asking for my opinion on which companies to choose for wedding albums and uh, you know professional shoots and portfolios. As we all know the photo book world divides into two big camps. There are the consumer photo books like Mixbook and Blurb and all the other ones which are available to anybody around the world and there are photo book companies who trade exclusively with uh, professional registered professional photographers. As you know I'm not a registered professional photographer and for that reason my access to this market has been very very limited because although I do reviews for you guys many companies will still not send me a sample because I'm not a registered photographer. However, Nphoto has been very kind to send me a sample from their range that I can show you and all of you viewers who are professional photographers can now see their products and maybe you'll see something that you haven't known about before and um, it's going to be something for you to consider for your next uh, client or photo shoot. So who is Nphoto? They are a company located in Poland and they provide professional photographers with lots of um, photo products such as photo albums, photo books, uh, print products, uh, mounted photos, uh, me media carriers like USBs and DVD cases, boxes and you know anything that you would need for a professional photo shoot or for a wedding package. They have more than 10 years experience uh, by now and they handcraft all their products. So the, the things that I was sent, I'm going to show you them very quickly now and then I want to break down the whole website and all their product ranges and uh, just talk a little bit more in detail about the things that I have but I want to mention everything that you can choose and that you can order from their website. So the, the smallest thing I got was a triplex which is basically um, a little display of three photos and it looks like that when you open it. Now these ones are really handy if you want to display pictures and you don't want you know a big photo book or you can put them on the shelf as a little book or you can use them for a small shoot or as a preview of your wedding album or you know any any occasion it will really fit nicely because it's quite small it comes in a lot of sizes which I'm going to talk about a little bit later needless to say I'm going to go into my up close shots and show them in a little bit more detail in a few minutes so that's one thing that I got the second one is a photo album and this one is a dream book. So the dream book is the second best in the range, the photo album is the best one which is silver halide but the dream book is not silver halide, it's printed using uh, a very fine uh, print head inkjet printer. Let me see which one it is. It is a Canon Dream Lab printer so although it's an inkjet printer it is it has a very fine print head so the dots are still there but they're really really small and the coloring is very similar to silver halide. You'll see that in my up close shots. So this one looks like that again it's a linen cover and just to give you a nice flip through it's a glossy uh, print as you can see it's lay flat but it's hinged lay flat that's very important to note that this one is not seamless lay flat it has a hinge in the middle and that's uh, for that reason you have a little break in double page spreads but it's not extremely noticeable but it's good to put it out there so again I come back to this in a few seconds in, a, in an up close shot and the best of their range is the it's very heavy is the the complete set which looks like that and this is basically a box as you can see and with an acrylic cover and when you open it you've got the let me try to hold it the photo book inside actually it's a photo album inside and a little usb stick with the photos on it so let me take this one out as well and there we go the same photo and it's an acrylic finish as well obviously the set is all matching so this one starts like that and this one was printed on a deep matte paper again using an inkjet printer so it's not silver halide and actually this is the first true matte paper that I've seen because most other companies who claim that their photo books are printed on matte papers they always have a little bit of a shine like a subtle sheen 
something like um, you know a subtle silk finish and many many companies will label their um, luster paper as matte and the glossy as glossy so this one is truly matte when you touch it it's extremely smooth and it has no shine at all but it still looks really nice and it, the dynamic range is not diminished and again i'm going to show that in the up close shots very soon so let me break down the photo book range for you so as i said the main thing that they do is the sets you've got two kinds of sets well two you've got two kinds of sets the complete set which has three elements it has either a photo album photo book or dream book so you have the choice of one of these three you can have a USB stick and obviously the matching box. So that, that comes in the complete set. In the set, the book can come in seven different sizes. Obviously, the box is going to match the size of the book. And you can see the size on the screen now. And that's basically all about the complete set. The second set you can buy is the folio set, which has the same elements, but instead of the photo book, you're going to have five to 20 mounted or boarded photos or prints. The mats come in six sizes seven colors and you can choose from three different photo papers the fuji silk which is going to be silver halide the canon deep matte which i showed you before is going to be on a canon dream lab inkjet printer and the the extra 148 gsm is going to be printed on an indigo printer that's more of an rt paper so these are the two main categories or sets that you can choose and now let me talk a little bit more about the actual um albums and the rest of the product range. So the photo albums are the best quality photo books you can get from, from Nphoto. They are the ones which are the most expensive, have the most personalizable options and have the nicest materials. They're mounted on very thick rigid boards. So it's obviously a flush mount album. It stays fully flat and it's seamlessly flat. You can choose from three different paper types, the same as for the prints. You can choose from the Fuji Silk, Fuji Pearl, which is silver halide. You can choose the Deep Matte Canon, which is the inkjet. And you can choose the eggshell, which is going to be the indigo printed version of it. Now for the personalization, there are so many things you can choose from. So I'm going to read them up because it's impossible to remember. So over 70 leather and textile covers to choose from. You can choose rounded corners. You can choose a padded cover, etch, seam, metal corners, acrylic finish, cutout window, lamination, embossing, etching, UV print and stamping. So all of these things can be chosen for any of these albums and obviously for the box as well. The photo album comes in 10 different sizes, which you can see on the screen now, and with seven different uh, designs or um, themes for the cover. The second category in the range is the photo book. So the photo books are different to the photo album. The photo books can be divided into four subcategories. The best one in the range is the Dream Book 4K, which, as I said and showed you before, is printed using a Canon um, very fine print head uh, inkjet printer and is honestly almost indistinguishable from the server halide. The dream book is lay flat as you could see it has a hinge in the middle so it's not seamless lay flat and the pages are not mounted so it's going to be a lot thinner and more flexible. The dream book comes in four sizes and with three different paper options you can have the canon luster, the canon gloss and you can also have uh, a canon satin finish. The cover materials are very very similar to the album almost the same options and for personalization you have again very similar options probably not as much as for the album but you can still choose from UV print, embossing, stamping, laser etching and metal corners and things like that so you can still personalize it to a very high degree. Now let's go to the second one of the photo books. The second one of the photo books is called the Photo Book Pro. Now this one is not lay flat, but it's printed on beautiful art papers on an HB Indigo printer. So the printer is going to be less high tech, but it's still a really good printer as we know. You can choose from three sizes and four different paper options. It's an eggshell uh, 148 GSM, an eggshell 216 GSM, and a Felix Schuller Luster 190 GSM and an uh, Arctic Matte 170 GSM. So go for this if you want your book to look a little bit more exclusive or unusual. But uh, if you're expecting that traditional wedding album book, then probably it's not the best option for you. And also the most important thing is that it's not going to be lay flat. The book comes with four um, cover styles and the same personalization options as the Dreambook 4K. 
The photobook basic is the cheapest option of all the photobooks. As the name suggests, it's, uh, it's the most basic in the range, but it doesn't mean that it's a bad photobook. It is a printed hardcover book, so an image wrap all around, and it's printed using an HP Indigo printer. This book doesn't have any of the fancy features that you find with the dream book or the photo album. It doesn't have stamping or UV printing on the front. It doesn't have linen or leather covers. It's just a printed cover. It's a very basic book, but it's very good if you need it in a big volume or if you want something really cheap as a preview book to your customers, if you just want to show the pictures before making the big album, or for example, if you need a big volume for schools, or um, also if you have a big wedding and you want to give a wedding album to every single guest who attended the wedding. And there's one more album or photo book in the photo book category, which is very unusual. It's called the Grand Gallery Book, which is larger than life, to be honest. It's 28 by 20 inches, so roughly that size. It's a huge, huge album. I can only imagine that book to be used when you want to show off your portfolio as a photographer or if you I don't know if you want to see your wedding in it but you live in a huge mansion or a castle and you have a gigantic table and you can lay the, the book down and open it but it's not exactly practical for a, a small table or you know just holding it in your hands because it's way too big but it's a beautiful album with uh, art papers so if that's what you're looking for to show off your work then it's definitely something that you should try out. The other things that they do that I'm not going to go into detail about, but you can visit their website and read more about is photo calendars, the traditional photo prints, wall art, canvases, and foam board. So pictures mounted onto foam board. Obviously I don't have a sample of those and it would be way too long to talk about every single product. And I want to focus on the photo books as always. Uh, the other things that obviously you can select with each of these uh, sets is the data carriers. The complete set comes with a USB stick, but you can also have a DVD case, a printed DVD and a USB little box. Last thing is packaging. They have so many boxes to choose from. They have the album box that you could see here, which comes in the same finishes as the book cover. They have slip cases, they have flip cases, and they also have a wooden case, which I think is really cool. And as I said, the newest one to the edition, which was just launched, is the uh, velvety, um, not velvety, the velvet finish uh, box, which is going to match the cover. It's very, very smooth. It's like a couch or something. So it's very luxurious and very exclusive. The last thing on the website is the photo products, which are the cards, the self-mounting albums and the triplex which I showed you earlier on in the beginning of the video so obviously you can choose free photos and create a nice display for your cabinet or uh, coffee table. Now I'm going to go into my up close shots and show you all of these samples that I have up close so you can see the quality better and the handcrafting and you know the little details around the corners. So that's the complete set again, so that's the box, it's acrylic on the top and this is a beautiful leather finish here, or leatherette. And that's how it looks on the side. That's a fabric finish there in the middle, the edges. And then on the spine, it's uh, empty. So there's no text on the spine or no little um, title or anything like that. So it's leatherette all around and it's padded as you can see. So it's a nice soft a nice uh, soft padded finish and let me open it. So the book as I said comes out with a little ribbon so it's very nice it fits in very snugly just a little space to move about so it's not very tight and if I take the book out inside you've got a linen finish and this is padded as well everywhere so it's nice and spongy and this is where the USB stick fits in and as you can see it's the same matching material that's how the USB stick looks it's very simple there's nothing written on it so you don't get the couple's name or anything like that I'm not entirely sure if you have the option for that but this one came blank and now let me show you the book so the book obviously follows the same theme it's a padded leatherette finish with the acrylic photo I absolutely adore this uh, acrylic finish. All of my books which are acrylic, um, they really stand out when you put them next to each other. It's beautiful, it's glossy and it's you know nice and strong. Um, that's how the edges look, the corners. 
And again, the spine of the book is completely empty, but it's nicely padded all around. So it's quite spongy when you touch it, which makes it look more elegant. And if you want to have a look at the spine from the top, that's how it looks. When you open this book, it starts with an empty double page spread. This is probably something you cannot see on the website, but it's something you would expect. And it is a nicely textured paper. Hopefully you can see that. And then here we go. This is the deep matte Canon paper, which is printed using a Canon Dream Lab inkjet printer. So have a look at the colors and how matte it is. It has no shine at all. And I have a really, really bright soft box here. So that's the kind of finish you get on it. It's so smooth and so white. It's brilliant white, as you can see. Beautiful photos. And that's the detail that you get with the uh, very fine print head, inkjet printer. And just a few more photos. And you can see a bit more shadows here. It's a matte paper, so it's not going to be as deep as a glossy paper black. There's a few more pages. It's a beautiful wedding, by the way. I don't know whose wedding it is, but um, it's certainly, I don't know if it's a real wedding or if it was a, a mock-up wedding, but uh, it looks wonderful. And the last two pages are again, the same material. And then there we go. Obviously there's no branding anywhere on the book, which shouldn't even be something that you question. So that's one of the books which comes in the complete set. And this one is the Dream Book 4K. Uh, it's a linen finish. It's padded as well. Not very strongly padded, but as you can see, it's nice and spongy. You can see the hinged um, spine here already. That's where the hinges are and where the pages are meeting the, the spine. Again, there's nothing on the spine, nothing on the back, but on the front you have a Maria and Hubert. Could be the names of the people in, maybe not, maybe yes. And then when you open this one, it starts again with a double page black spread, but this one is completely smooth. So it doesn't have the same texture as the photo album. And then the book starts and now you can see how deep the glossy paper is. This one has been printed again on the Canon Dream Lab inkjet printer, which is the same as the photo album, but it's a glossy Canon photo paper and it's, it's metallic, very shiny, but just look how deep the blacks are. So it's, it's absolutely gorgeous. I know some people don't like this finish because it's too much for them, but definitely gives a bit more dynamic range and the colors are going to pop right in front of your eyes. And the only thing obviously about the dream book is that it's hinged. When I lay it completely flat, it doesn't look like it breaks too much in the middle, but obviously up close you can see that uh, there is a little break where the two pages meet because this is printed as a double-sided uh, page, not as a double page spread. And again, you can have a look at the print quality here and the finish. And let me just put the two next to each other so you can see the difference, the same photo. I'm not sure if the camera is capable of showing this uh, minor, very subtle difference, but this one is a little bit more dynamic. So the bright colors look a bit more vivid and the blacks are a lot darker, but also it means that some of the detail in the dark shadows gets lost while it's more visible in the deep matte finish. And then here's another double page spread beautiful colors. And again, it's very hard to tell that this hasn't been printed on a silver halide um, printer because this Dream Lab uh, Canon inkjet printer is absolutely amazing. I haven't seen this in any photo book before. I've been told that the new inkjet printers are really good, but I, I couldn't really imagine how they could be so amazing because the ones we used to have at work were quite high definition as well, but nowhere near as good as the colors in the server halide process. But this one I have to admit is, uh, is really, really good. And when you get to the end of this book, again, there is this nice double uh, black spread sheet, the same material and it finishes. So that's the dream book 4K. And last but not least, the triplex. So this one is 
again, a leatherette finish. It is, it looks like it's padded, but it's actually quite hard when you touch it, so it's not padded. It has a nice title on the front, nothing on the spine, nothing on the back, and when you open it, that's how it opens, so the, the back is completely blank, apart from the, the names, and all of these photos are foam board mounted, so hopefully you can see that. There's the thickness of it, all three of them, and they are printed on a silky Fuji paper using a silver halide method. Now hopefully you can see the texture of this paper is really dense, so it's kind of a fabric, it, re it resembles a fabric texture to me, or linen in a way, but that's the Fuji silk. I try to post an up-close picture here so you can see it a little bit better. And comparing the colors of this photo to the Dream Lab was so close, it was very difficult to tell which one is which, but on this one, the again, the dynamic range is a little bit better than on the Canon Dream Lab. So that's the only difference I could see. Obviously, the, this paper is really textured, so it's going to hide some of the details in the print, but um, that's basically how it looks. Obviously, it comes in many different sizes, and you can also choose from quite a few personalization choices. And just a few words about the technicalities before we wrap up. So I'm always going to mention this from now on because I've been getting comments that I've been ignoring color management and ICC profiles and so on. Obviously, being a professional service provider, they have their own color profiles that you can download and use in Photoshop. And they also have a free of charge um, color correction service, which is done by an expert, not by a machine. And regarding the editing process, you've got quite a few options. You can either use the online editor. I haven't been able to test any of these because as I said, these samples were sent to me, I didn't make them. So you can use the online designer. They also have four third party designers that you can use from their um, partner companies. Uh, and you can also download templates for each of these books and uh, make your own designs in Adobe or wherever and upload the PDFs in the very end. So these are your options for designing. I think that covers really everything. Regarding the prices of these books, um, I can't disclose any of the prices because you have to go and create an account with Nphoto, register with them, and then you have access to the full price range. Also, there are many programs and discounts that you can apply for depending on the volume that you need or if you are willing to work with them. So the price can obviously vary depending on your circumstances. I was very happy to see uh, this sample set, it was something new for me as well, and uh, I hope that it was something beneficial for you professional photographers who watch my videos, and uh, let me know if there was something that I forgot to talk about, if there were some details that I didn't show you, leave them in the comments box. Make sure to go onto the Nphoto website and check out all of their amazing products, especially the newest one, the Velvet or Suede Finish. Uh, photo albums and boxes, they look absolutely gorgeous. If you have any more questions, leave them in the comments box. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see more. Thank you, see you later.